just a real, real quick note here, and yes, my personal opinion, but uh, back in 2012, uh, Obama had signed into law the National Defense Authorization Act of, obviously, 2012. In that act, uh, in that NDAA, if you will, there was the allowance to detain, for the military to detain American citizens without trial, without due process, uh, indefinitely, indefinitely, until the threat was over. Now, if you've been around here very long, you know that I'm not a simp for Trump, I'm not a simp for any politician or any political party. But we just had the attempted assassination of a former and very likely future president. And it is astonishing to me the amount of people out there that are making comments uh, to the effect of, you know, he had one job and, you know, damn it, he missed or whatever the case may be. It is my opinion that the NDAA 2012 that part of it that allows for the indefinite detention of American citizens for make essentially for terrorism should be enacted. And these individuals need to be rounded up and detained until at least after the election. Now, you can't tell me that that's too far a stretch of a thought. <clears throat> Pardon me for the scratchy throat. You can't tell me that that's too far stretched of a thought when we had people, and I believe there may still be people locked up for January 6th for simply walking through the Capitol building. You have people that are encouraging the, the assassination of a former and very likely future president of the United States of America. If people's panties get all twisted up for people walking through the Capitol building, why aren't these people being detained? Just wondering. Shalom. <laughs>